Hey guys, welcome to the second podcast on the US channel. It's the first of mine. We're going to talk about Kelvin Kiros. My name's George, take out your ex, you guys know that. And Justin's name is Elivo on YouTube, so Justin, I'll refer to him as Justin as usual because we don't want to use your YouTube names. So let's kick it off. So um, this is our second podcast uh, for uh, Dr. EXC, aka Josh. This is going to be his first one. Um, so yeah, what do you want to talk about? Let's just talk about some stuff that's going on in the game and how we feel about the game, which is something which I really want to do at some point. So let me just give you a question about the game right now. When you log on, what's the first feeling you get when you log on? Um, I don't know exactly. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't have a good answer. Um, I guess I'm just getting on. Uh, did you have like a specific thing in mind? I should have said, I don't know. <laughs> for for me it's like this like when i log on all the time the first thing i do is look in who is online to chat to and naturally people are gonna flood in my dms maybe because of youtube people which are not in my clan they're like yo dr x yo what's up nice videos man when's the next vid and stuff so it, it like fills me with joy when i log on maybe you can relate to that yeah that makes some sense usually i kind of like look if like everybody's at like a certain boss because sometimes i could randomly get on and just like maybe like a necro up or something well that's okay that's good that's good then dude that's good look look another question man it's look your youtube channel is kind of like growing and you're getting more famous on dune servers specifically so um how, how does it feel like is it any different than before now that you do youtube for Celtic heroes um i'd say there's one small difference um if you do make a youtube and there's people who kind of watch it you're going to get people who ask, like, hey, can I have some gold? Hey, could I have, um, I don't know, chests? Can I have, like, they just want stuff. It's usually they want stuff or they want a chance to start on Dawn. Usually I would tell them, like, hey, if you want to start on Dawn, just go for it. Um, even if you were in Concordia for, like, the first, let's say, like, 100 levels, um, it, most of those levels are going to be from, like, you buying Lux because that's how the game works, you know. Uh, you need to buy luck. You need to basically spend money on a new server or transfer extra, I think, um, to level. So one thing I always like realized when I started like doing YouTube in like a bigger way, getting more famous, especially on one server. Ethanol was fun. Like there's more players on Ethanol than on Don, but it's you. You just get spammed with like people asking for gold. It's just I think every guy that does YouTube for Catechus has the same experience. People are like, yo, can you help me with this? And I think that there's most likely going to be a lot of people, especially when your, your channel hits like uh, 300, 400 subscribers, which it will eventually. Then there's going to be a lot of people that are like, yo, you, Justin, can I join Concordia? Can you do something? Can you talk to Mrs. Scar for me and shit? And I think at some point it's cool, like, but it's getting really annoying. Yeah, it's not that like I like I, I'm happy that you watch like the vids and everything, but it's like I don't even have gold, dude. Like I can't I can't really help you out like that. So, um. Like, you could, I don't know, how could I say it? Like, I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything, but I can't help out every person that, that would ask me for help because, like, I would definitely have, like, nothing. It's about the same for me, man. It's about the same for me. And always, like, I think I helped a lot of people back then with, like, stuff on Epina because I had much gold on there. And gold didn't really matter because you just had gold. When you play Epina, you just have tons of gold. And so naturally, I would sometimes do videos of giving people stuff or like just making them like a golden blade or an axe or a hay string or something. But uh, I think people think that it's still the same thing on uh, Concordia, on Don. Um, but naturally, I can't do that. Like, I can't send people gear anymore because it's forbidden. Like, you can't. And people just, they just don't know it. They're like, yo, can you give, help me with uh, the other set? Can you buy me this, this? And I'm always like, no, it, it, there's can rules. But people don't understand that shit. It's... This stuff's gonna come to you as well. Like people are gonna be like, "Yo, how much for Getty Blade?" And you're just like, "No, just just no, not for sale." And they they won't understand that. They'll try to beat you out of PayPal, chess, and shit. You ever had like one of those crazy experiences before? Um, no, but I have a better experience. Um, I I think I was maybe in Castle, and this dude was like shouting out his um his Twitch or whatever, and apparently he was like a really new player and he like just started playing the game and he was streaming on twitch and i was like i've never seen anybody stream the game like ever i mean uh, i tried oh you tried well yeah i'm just saying i never like i think i've done it tried to look a couple times like no one at the time was like ever like doing that uh some people do it on youtube sometimes i know scar has uh in the past um 
but I saw he was like brand new. He had like basically nothing. He knew like almost nothing about the game. But that that makes me that entices me more to help him out than like somebody asking for like this stuff. Because I see if you're new and you're like a cool guy, like I'll probably like give you like some gold and some licks. It's uh, really generous. Well, yeah, dude. That's that's when I was like had gold. Now I have no gold. So another thing on Celtic Heroes. Uh, I read your comments on the videos. Um, there was somebody about talking about DG part, like the wrong part or something. You read that? Yeah, I think a couple of people from the clan like went in there and tried to explain. Uh, first off, uh, two hundred attack is gonna change a lot, and he said that I didn't have any attack. I think I have maybe twelve thousand hasted or like uh licked. Um, Not bad, man. It's good. Like I, I'm. I i do not know how. Like I think 12k is like, um, over that's not gonna really change the bosses that much. I don't think. Like you're not gonna you're not gonna miss, like any more than you would with like 14k. Yeah, there's some 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 truth in that. And also, statement. and also you lose a lot of attack. Like let's say um, for let's say like for me with uh, quick strike, if I throw on like a brace and a ring. Um, I lose all the attack from my prod brace and my necro ring, which is like maybe like fourteen hundred, just off that, and then plus the the attack licks would be like a lot more. Attack licks. I mean, the value of attack licks also went up. Like you can't really get them for two k anymore. Like I don't know. I don't have any source that sells me licks anymore. But last time I checked the auction house, there were like ten attack licks, not even haste attack licks. Or 60k. It's fucking ridiculous. You just have to get lucky to find it, or if you have someone in clan who, like, just opens a lot of chests, and maybe they're like, hey, they'll help you out, and they'll sell it to you for, like, a decent price, not something crazy, like, 5, 6k for an attack licks, like, like 2k. It's really good. I mean, that's, that's a benefit of being in a clan, right? There's always people that have resources on hand. But I know a lot of guys that are not in clans, and they somehow have like a bunch of leaks for opening chests, but they will not even sell them under 5k for haste, most likely 10k for haste, and heroic combos go up to 30k now. So that's fucking ridiculous. Um, I think in the past, like I don't think I've ever really opened my chests when I bought them. Um, I think from now on, I don't really have a reason to get the gold <laughs> at this point. Like, gold's nice and all, but I feel like if I got like, let's say like, the, the Lux pet things that I don't need, that's easy gold, but like, it's so hard to get haste and attacks and things like that, that at this point it's not even worth it to sell for gold, because you can't even do anything with the gold, you're just going to get, like, you're going to sell your chests, and then, like, the only way to get more chests is to, like, buy them for, like, 80, 90k in the auction house, there's no point, you might as well just, like, wait for double plaid, just take those 200 chests. I mean... I have opened a lot of chests in the past, and to be honest, I always regret opening them because after you open them, like you realize that the market value of these chests, like one chest is easy 100k nowadays in the auction house. As you said, right between 80 and 100k, right? That's the, the price of chests right now. And so when you open them and you just get jacked shit, it's just like, what the fuck? Why did I just waste all that potential income of money? Um, but I just opened them and all the time, like I never like open chests anymore. It's just the same as you. I always sell them and trade them for stuff because chest opening right now, it's just stupid. Yeah, I see that. Like, um, it, It's like an argument both ways. It's like, let's say even if I did have the gold, let's say I, I made the 100k per chest, right? But it'd still be hard to get the gold, I mean, to get the hastes because no one sells them. Um, it's just hard to even find them. But there's also... Uh, I was gonna say, just if you sell for a hundred k, it's a lot. Like if you, let's say, you get heroics from a chest, that's only like sixty k. Uh, it's like sixty, seventy k. Like you're gonna get more, even if you got heroic uh, combos. Um, you're still gonna be making more just selling the chest. It's like it's a lot more safe than opening chests and getting like five energy sigils. Just waste your money. <laughs> so yeah that's a good example actually like about being in a clan as well um when there's chests being sold in the clan like the prices dip so you get like a fair price 
but also a question which uh, I answered this for on my channel a couple of times. Like, what's it like joining a top clan when it wasn't a top clan before? Like, what's the feeling like? I don't think I joined when it was in a top clan. No, no, I mean, uh, what's the feeling like coming from a low-end clan to a top clan? Well, the thing about that was what really made me move from, I think I was in Vikings at the time, uh, nobody played in the clan, like, at all. Um, I'd always be on, like, just by myself, and it's like, man, like, I kind of thought it was just normal, like, just people just weren't playing, because uh, mostly Conk, I just thought nobody was playing, because Conk at the time, they would just be bossing. And, like, I'd always, like, um, be at, like, the lower end levels, like, let's say Shalmont, and nobody was there, like, Shalmont, and then the castle. And I wouldn't see much people on, so i just think, hey, I guess a lot of the clans aren't active. But, um, I joined Conk, and yeah, it was a lot more active than, uh, Vix, so. And when you, like, anybody out there, when you join Top Clan, like, me and, uh, just obviously, we joined Concordia. And Concordia is like a really well set up clan. We got Discord server set up. We got like attendance point system. We got all the banking systems and stuff, which is really okay. But uh, there's a lot of people that are like, yo, a top clan, like just join and play. Yeah, it's only like, I would say 20% of, of just being in a top clan is just playing. There's a lot more to this. Like, there's a system behind that. And I don't know if Vikings had one of those, but I did. It's just a question basically. Did you ever like meet a top clan that was like this well organized, like Concordia was? Um, This is my first server. I never left, so, uh, I guess not, like, uh, I think I said before the reason I joined Vix was because I was introduced to the game by a friend and he was in the clan, so I was like, why wouldn't I join my friend, and, uh, like, years passed, he stopped playing, um, and I kind of got interested in the game again, just to, like, try it out and for the past year i've been kind of hooked on the game so then um nobody was playing on vic so i wanted to you know try another clan out that played and at the time i i've never even done like a necro or a morty uh like my top level probably in vix was like 140 and then once i joined uh conk i, I started like trying to level so i can do like the uh harder bosses so there's that so let's keep this discussion about top clans there's this often people misunderstand uh, what top clans really are there's people saying uh, if you're in top clan like you're a greedy person or like the clan is greedy or something but i don't i don't really know why people would say this because let's just be honest like any clan that kills all the bosses is most likely top clan right so when you're in the top clan you just gotta do this to maintain the top or people will hate on you when you're like uh, doing that. They're gonna be like, "Yo, they're so bad. You guys are so greedy. You're not leaving anything for the other uh, clans on the server." I mean, but isn't that the, just like the whole purpose of having a competition going? Um, yeah, it's not like uh, if another clan, uh, if other clans, let's say they stop trying, right? Does that mean you should just stop trying? Um, I think, from what I've heard, the cases for Conk is other other clans just kind of stop trying. And Conk's been the top clan for years now. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, for I think for six or seven years now, Concordia has been uh, absolutely kicking it on Don. Or as people uh, refer to it now as Dune server, which is, I don't know, is it an insider from, from Don people? Is Dune an insider? What do you mean an insider? Hey, look, it's people who will not understand this joke when they're, they're not active on Don. Or not on the YouTube community, so they will not know this. That's what I mean by it. I, I get what you mean. You're talking about like other servers calling Don Dune. No, totally not. <laughs> there's what, there's just one this guy from? on on YouTube right now. Uh, I think Valentines is his name on Don. Oh, and he, right. And he always puts Dune in in his titles and talks about Dune server, but there is no server called Dune. He's he just, trolling I, though. I don't know. I don't think he's trolling. I think he's just stupid. I think he's 100% trolling. Like, e even though, like, I'm giving him, like, the gratification of, like, being smart enough to, like, witty enough to do that, I I'd say that, yeah, he he's just... M maybe he typed in really quick, who knows? Maybe he had to go somewhere. So, he basically, he just stuck with it. He was like, okay, this is... I'm I made a typo one time, and I'll just stick to it, so maybe people think it's a joke. Well, I don't know, we're talking about it. I mean, I don't know, it's, it's just whatever, let's just, just end that topic here, and just let's just focus on something else, which is uh, people, meeting people in top clans. 
I think a lot of people in top lands are more relaxed than people outside because they are the top. Like they have not much to um, to lose is wrong, but uh, they have not much to care about when they're like just a clansman rank or something. They just vibe with the clan, and naturally, when you enter the castle on Don as say a Cacordia member, you will always get like some hate messages from people in different clans, right? And uh, did that happen to you like already? Well. I bet I have, like, gone, like, hate messages, like, it's not like I remember them that well. Um, if I haven't, like, that's why, that's another thing. Like, it, it's cool to make vids, because you can remember stuff that happened in the past. Um, not saying that, like, I'd only make videos on someone, like, hating on Don, but, or hating on Conk. Um, but I think I do have a couple of videos of that. I mean, I've, I've saw this one video from you, or I did see this one video from you, where you got, like, kill steal while stealing uh, on leaks or whatever. And uh, it's just the overall attitude on Kelp Cures. I think people are losing respect. That's uh, what I just want to say. It's it's kind of annoying all the time. Like, when I hop on now, the respect between clans isn't there anymore. Like, on Epino, for example, right, it wasn't really a competition. But people still had, like, some sort of respect for other clans. And on Donatus, you were in Concordia, you were naturally you a bad, bad person. Any or anyone out of Concordia, it's that's what I mean. Like you should, or you at least will get a lot of messages because you're doing YouTube just for that reason. Yeah, I've seen a couple of them. Um, I'm not entirely interested in like those kind of comments. Like, how do I say? I don't. I don't really care what they say. If that makes sense, it doesn't really bother me. I mean, uh, it should though. Like it should bother you, man. How just comments on YouTube? Yeah, man, it's uh, YouTube is life, man. If somebody hates you on YouTube, man, it's uh, it's going straight to your feelings, dude. It's it's gonna fuck you, man. Yeah, if they say something on YouTube, it's fact. So yeah. Okay, next topic. Then this is let's continue the podcast. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Wait, or, we, we can leave that in. We can leave it all in. It's fine. But <laughs> okay. I still talk. I, I still talk about the car. Yeah. Okay, next thing. I'm looking forward for that story, though. Man. It's mostly going to be oh, fun. Oh, yeah, dude. It, it's a funny story, dude. Oh. Wait a minute. Okay, let, then, okay, let's continue. Um, There's one question which was on my mind. Can you send in a screenshot of uh, some something of your PC or, like, a photo of your PC? I saw a Dogecoin. What the fuck is about fucking Dogecoin? It, it was a joke. No, um, no, no, it's not a joke. You you fucking have Dogecoin. It was a joke. I promise you it's a joke. It was, you fucking got Dogecoin, man. I don't. It was on Robinhood. I, I was on Robinhood, and I looked up Dogecoin. And you know what's funny? It, it's legit going up in price. Yeah. It's weird. I was like, I was looking at it. I was like, dude, this, thing, this thing's up like 10,000%, dude. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Dogecoin, uh, I remember when Dogecoin like, was made as a meme to like uh, counter Bitcoin or whatever. Um, talk, talking about stocks here. Stock trading is fun. Like, are you into stock trading? Um... I'm into certain cryptocurrencies. I, I mine some and I invest in some and flip some, but it's not like I'm making crazy profit, but like stocks, um, I'm interested in like a Roth IRA and like certain, uh, what are they called? Just uh, investments, but I'm not like completely in on stocks. Uh, I think it's risky, but it's not like who cares if I lose my money, you know, like, uh, like I care, but it's not like let's say I have like a family, and like if I go broke, like we live on the streets, and then the CPS takes my kids. Um, that's not gonna happen. I don't have any kids, so uh, if, if 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 everything goes south, if everything goes <laughs> good, th there's just too much um, there's too much benefit over like something bad happening. Let's say like something screws up, I just go back home and uh with my parents and be like hey I'll, I'll get a job now there you go i'll get a new job okay <laughs> okay i mean i'm into investing in stocks i think it's an interesting topic for anybody out there any age uh, any income it's uh, it's quite fun i mean did you know that there's like a reddit called wall street bets and there's a lot of fucking retards on that and they just they just yolo all their life savings into yeah, one stock watch uh, youtube videos about it like uh r slash wall street bets there's this youtuber he just like he talks about like the funniest ones that happen like uh basically like somebody will say invest in this and they'll like they'll say they'll like show pictures of them throwing in like two hundred thousand in it and then like the company will lose like 98 percent of its worth like the next day 
I mean, uh, I, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And uh, actually, right now, there's like a, uh, a war going on, a currency war, a money war, a stocks war. It's uh, on GameStop shares. I mean, GameStop, uh, they, fucking, they fucking went high, like high as fuck. And now that there's a company called Melbourne Capital, and we on Wall Street bets, like we always like we kind of like fight with them, so we get more money and they lose money. And they actually, they lost. I don't know if it's a specific company that lost it, but they lost uh, eight hundred twelve million dollars, like real dollars, in one day uh, last Wednesday. It's just because of us retards. It's it's at some points hilarious, but then again, we are just like saving jobs, like we're saving jobs for people, and it's uh, it's an important mission to win. So join in on the fun. Why invest in GameStop when you can go in GameStop and buy a game? I don't really get it, man. Because the stock is, uh, it's basically, yeah, it's a meme. Like, people always, like, they just fucking spam that shit. And when you go on Reddit, look, listen, listen, listen. When you go on Reddit right now, okay? So there's always going to be people talking about the uh, GME stocks. Um, how much they fucking yolo into that shit. And I also watched the videos on uh, Wall Street. There's this one video, it's called, I think, The Chaos of Wall Street Bets or something. That's like a really good video to watch. It's really entertaining. And it pretty much breaks down what people at any age, they fucking get rich of this, right? And there's so many, they fucking get rich. They get millionaires basically overnight at some point. And then they just bet it all again and lose it all. So there's people literally being millionaires for one day. Yep. It's, it's great. Uh, people putting in puts for like uh, weird businesses and just losing it all or just like um i think uh somebody put in a put for the s&p for what's it called s&p 500 i forgot what it's called I'll lose, wait wait let me look it up and i'll lose my mind dude stocks in america yeah. it's like the main thing s and s s&p 500 um this was like a week before covid like really went through like the world uh, everybody got was starting to get scared uh, but a week before that he put a put down for like 200 grand and then that turned into like four million but then uh trump and what's his face um i, I can't remember names they basically put money into the economy to fix it and his four million like basically uh went to like negative yeah overnight right it's yeah I, I saw that shit happen too it's fuck it's fucking hilarious man it's overnight, man. It wasn't overnight. You seen the? Have you seen the video? Yeah. Oh, you seen the? You know, wait. What, who's this guy called? He's funny. It, it it's so funny. And there's like a specific picture for the Wall Street. It's like the the guy with like the comb back hair, the blonde, and the the glasses. Yeah, that's the picture of uh, Wall Street bets on Reddit. It's a real hilarious. I, I, I want to change my picture to that on Discord. It's so good. I mean, I am in the Discord of Wall Street Bets Worlds. So you can join as well. There's a lot of fucking retards and artists on there. It's it's great. It's great for the memes, man. It's worth it. Dude, I like how you're saying that so openly, dude. On a podcast. Like, saying yeah, we, what? We, there's a lot of artists and retards? Yeah, we support dark humor. I mean, that's basically what... When you join this, right? It's like 4chan, but for investors with, like, their mom's credit card, basically. That's what Wall Street Bets is like. So, we always call each other retards and artists on there. And I've been on that shit for, like, two years now. I haven't, like, heard someone say 4chan in, like, five years, dude. Like, I mean, just it. just go on Reddit right now. Just go on their uh, Wall Street Bets Reddit. It's, uh, you just, it's even the caption. It's, it's fucking funny. Like, you just gotta join in the fun, and I think anybody can do it. I, I want to save myself the headache, bro. Maybe some other time. I mean, look, Tuesday is a big day for people on, on the Wall Street kind of stuff, especially in the stock market, because Tuesday uh, it's going to be like a short squeeze with the uh, GameStop stock. It's going to be fun as fuck. Like, a lot of people are going to get rich as fuck, and a lot of people are going to lose all their money. And I hope that I'm one of those that just get rich overnight by uh, holding that stock, because I'm right now uh, 1,200 shares into GameStop. And if my investment doesn't fail, I'll get a fucking fat return. You're expecting it to fail? Um, there's always this one point where you just gotta hold it. Um, you just gotta, gotta go through with it. And I think that it's gonna skyrocket up to like 70 or $80 market value per stock. And right after that, it's gonna fall down to, uh, I think, back to 15, 20 or whatever. But I wanna be at the point where it's, it's nearly 70 and then I'll just go out. So eventually I'll make a lot of money. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think those are too risky. Like the, um, like a stock that would be like popular in our slash Wall Street bets, 
Like that's that's when I wouldn't want to touch at all. Like um I think like like you know the safest way to make the money is um putting let's say like a like a long term investment or a what is it called? It's like a Roth IRA, but basically you make 2% back a year just off of interest or whatever. Okay, that's basically uh, ETFs. You mean like ETFs? Yeah, high interest savings that, that is still taxable. Or just okay. going like a Roth IRA, take it out when you're 60 or whatever. Um, it, it's crazy. I think in from 18 to 60, if you put in like a grand, you get like 15, 16 grand. Yeah, that's uh, basically what you can do with any ETF. Like you can just set a savings plan on, say, your trading app, Robinhood, whatever. I wouldn't recommend Robinhood personally, but uh, Trade Republic for the EU zone. It's it's fun. Like you can just with fifty bucks a day, uh, not a day, a month, you can uh, you can get rich of that just by following the market. It's uh, quite interesting. Besides stocks, want to go somewhere around the Celtic talk again, or? Okay, okay, let's, uh, let me just say this. Like, Celtic Hero is a pretty dead topic. Um, <laughs> it's, it is what it is. The game is dying. I, I don't see any future updates coming soon. Like, no events, nothing's gonna pop. Especially, let's just talk about this, okay? Celtic Hero is versus any other mobile game out there that's uh, MMORPG style. Like, say, Order and Chaos, right? I haven't heard of Order and Chaos in, in ages as well. But uh, there's this new game coming up, Warhammer Odyssey. It's gonna, uh, most likely... It's gonna drain the population of Celtic Heroes by I'd say five to ten percent. Yeah, I've seen the game. I don't. I'm not digging it. Uh, I I don't like how it looks. It looks um, it looks like they tried with the graphics too much. It's like it's kind of in the middle, you know. Uh, I feel like where Celtic is, it's like the the graphics aren't the best, but that's what makes it nice, you know. I feel like. Um, Warhammer's at a spot with the graphics it looks kind of weird and also the breaking items thing uh, nah. how would that work would you like let's say like the, the, the DG of Warhammer would you just like work for that for so long it just breaks on you <laughs> imagine imagine you play Catholic Heroes the system on right you oh, just yeah. work your fucking ass off for the DG like, say Kong, there's a lot of people that need DG, right? When you get, like, a part, you're fucking proud, and then, let's say you use it, and, like, 200 hits later, it fucking breaks, it's gone. Yeah, you gotta work for it again. Yeah, fucking annoying. Nah, I don't know. What, uh, just It's a stupid game. Warhammer is a stupid game. I wouldn't, like, uh, put my money on Warhammer it's a, anytime. It's so stupid. I don't, I don't get... I, the breaking thing's too much. They're, they're really hurting their own game. Yeah, and there's, I mean, I understand why they do this, because they, like, eventually can force people to spend money on the game. Let's just be honest, as I said in the last podcast, I think, as well, Warhammer is the bigger franchise, right? And naturally, they're focused on Warhammer, but I think they messed up. I agree, the graphics look so fishy. It's like, yeah, people tried to, but it didn't work. Yeah, it's like, um, how do I, how do I explain it? Like, you know how a game looks very nice? Like, let's say, uh, World War Two, COD. You know how it's like it's like a real life kind of like animation or graphics, and Celtic it, it, it doesn't try to look realistic. You know if you if you if you like close up if you like close up on the like the gear or whatever, um, it looks very like cartoony or something. It's not like real, but uh, Warhammer tries to look real, and it, it doesn't work, especially on a phone. Yeah, and there's not not enough like high end phones in the normal like kind of like just in your neighborhood that it would like make the game profitable because my phone is uh, my phone is pretty good, and even I have problems running Warhammer, and it's uh, I can't I mean I can play it on HD and everything but it I can't record at the same time and no I can't listen to Spotify either it's just laggy as fuck and I think the only people which is the only devices that are really the best for gaming on on your mobile is Apple like an iPhone is not gonna have a problem with the game. But any Android, I don't know, it's just, I don't think Android smartphones should uh, be going for the high-end apps. Same with, uh, do you remember this one game that was around years ago called uh, Modern Combat? Mortal Combat, yeah. No, no, not Mortal Combat, Modern Combat, the shooter, the shooter game from Gameloft. Listen, Mortal Kombat, like, yeah, I've heard of it once or twice. Um, No, I've never heard of Modern Combat. Yeah, Modern Combat was one of the best games to just play in school, like under the table and the breaks and shit. It was just like Call of Duty for your uh, handheld devices. It was fucking fun. 
And nowadays, if you just look on the market, there's always these clicky games. You know what I mean, man. It's like the trailer is fully 3D anim uh, animated and shit. Like the graphics in the trailers look so fucking good and then you play it. And it's like a fucking clicking game. Like uh, Raid Shadow Legends. I get an ad for that like every day. I mean, yeah, fucking Raid Shadow Legends. The best fucking... I mean, they have fucking money in that fucking company, right? So to pay people for these ads, man, any fucking big YouTuber got an ad of what Raid Shadow Legends. And at some point, the game is so fucking annoying, it turns into a meme. Yeah. But yeah, it's just people, overkill. People legitimately spend money. Because, like, I, I'd watch, like, an NFL game, and there's, like, a Raid Shadow Legends ad. I'm like, what? I'm like, how are they making all this money? And I think, like, as an outsider, let's say, from Celtic Heroes, I think, like, why did somebody spend 500 on these chests? Like, what, what did they do? They make you attack a little faster? The haste that you get from them? What? Why, why would I spend all my money on that? But, um, I don't... I, I'm really confused about the, uh, Raid of Shadow Legends. I guess it's for a new characters or something like that. I, I, I think, mean... I think that's what, what happens. Um, it's, it's, yeah. I think, I think so too. And talking about this outsider Celtic Heroes thing. When an outsider sees Celtic Heroes, they're gonna be like, yo, this looks like some autistic fool tried to uh, copy World of Warcraft onto your mobile device. That's just basically it. <laughs> okay. I mean, look, Celtic Heroes is a cool game. It's cool. Like, you can just play it and it's it looks good, it works out. But it's it's getting boring pretty quick. But till you reach endgame, it's like a fucking hard grind. And the moment you have to grind and spend time with the game is where the developers earn the most money. Because people invest in the game so they can reach endgame. But once you're endgame, there's like this cap where like, yo, I don't need, need to buy anything if you have money. But I think for Celtic Heroes, in many ways, it works out that people still buy stuff with real money. And it's a lot of game fail fail because the population on this game, people are always end game and they don't buy shit. That's when free to play games kind of fail. And this is why I think uh, Warhammer Odyssey as well is uh, so fucking pay to win because they they know it. It's a, a good end for the podcast basically. Yeah, that's a good end for the podcast. Um, do you wanna do like the ending? Bro, we're gonna do it like we always do. I'm, I'm just gonna say it like this. Okay, thanks for listening. If you guys listen to the whole thing, there's a giveaway. No, there's no, no giveaway. Um, but eventually, chances are we're gonna give away uh, two iPhone. Ad no, we don't. We're not doing any giveaway in, anytime soon. So, uh, until the next one. Later. <laughs> the fucking later shit. Yeah. <laughs>